Hi cloth diaper families, I'm Julia. I'm going to do brief reviews on the three diaper pail liners that we have been using. Um, and I know some people make them use themselves, which is great, and some people use really large uh, pillow cases, which is great. We have tried Charlie Banana, Planet Wise, and Rumparoos. So these are my thoughts. Starting with the Charlie Banana, one big pro of the Charlie Banana Whoa. is that it comes with these two hooks at the opening of the bag. Um, so if you're going to use up your pail liner, not actually in a pail, but on um, a doorknob or a hook on the wall, something like that, um, or you like to have it hanging up by your washing machine, something like that, um, it's got the hooks here for you. Um, it's got great elastic at the top. It has fit um, my diaper pail really, really well. <laughs> and Charlie Banana comes in a lot of cute prints. Here is the problem with mine. It has completely delaminated. This is the waterproof lining um, that should be on the inside, and it completely detached from the fabric itself on the inside totally busted, totally delaminated. Since this is the only one that I've tried, I can't say if they're all just poor quality or if um, I just got like one bad one out of a batch of a thousand or something like this, but I will not repurchase the Charlie Banana Pale Liner. Oh, and by the way, that one started delaminating um, after 10 months of use. When Leo was 10 months old is when it started delaminating and it just got worse from there. Um, so. Um, I like to have two pail liners, you know, one that is in use and the other one that's probably in the washing machine or drying. So I had to get a replacement for uh, my Charlie Banana and that is the Rumper Ruse, which also comes in a great number of cute prints. Um, the Rumper Ruse bag is gigantic. It's enormous and it's made in a certain way to be able to fit a lot of diapers. Um, it is it is too big for my pail liner. That's not like a problem. It's just not a perfect fit. It just has like extra fabric that's sponged up at the bottom. And instead of having elastic at the top, it has a drawstring opening at the top here. Um, so the opening like this would be way, way too big for my pail liner, but I just pull the drawstring like this and then when I take it out of the pail, you know, I want the top to be even smaller. I pull the drawstring in even more. So if like I have to set the pail liner down for a minute, there's not like a giant. Just want to show you my pail liner so you can get a sense. Um, I like the foot step on the bottom. It's by Simply Human and it's got this lock on top. I haven't had an issue with like pets and kids getting into this, but you know, it could happen. So there is the um, Planet Wise pail liner in action. And then the pail liners I'm not using get stored in one of these drawers over here. The last one is the Planet Wise. And it's just a bag that fits perfectly in our pail liner and it has an elasticated top so you just flip that down over the top of your pail. Um, and this has stood the test of time. We've been using it for 26 months now. So there's nothing fancy about it, but it's in the exact same condition um, as it was the day I bought it. So the Planet Wise Pail Liner is definitely a winner.